Could you find your way here? <laughs> Taking Uber. No, no Uber. I was right around the corner. <laughs> You've uh, probably played on this floor before? Definitely. I've been here a few times. Same pretty familiar. How many workouts have you had? Just like 10, 11. Had a good number. Were there some, some nerves coming in knowing this is a Pistons workout? No, no nerves. I just do what I could do, just be myself. How about excitement then? Definitely excited to come back home. Gotta get a show out for the hometown team. Yeah. It's pretty good. I enjoy myself. How'd it go for you today? It went pretty good. You know, I think I showed them a lot that uh, it was question marks on me, but I think I'm starting to take away some of those question marks. When we talked before, you said one of the main things was defense and showing that you can compete on the defensive end, and that would convince a lot of people. Have you had to do that, and, and have teams been impressed by that aspect of your game and the workouts that you've had? Definitely, and everybody says, well, I didn't know you could play defense. I just smile and laugh, you know. But I just showed that I can play defense. You know, it's one of my strong suits at Oakland. You know, it is. It was what it was. Hey, Coach Campy, come over today. I don't know. He probably outside waiting on me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> did Did the combine change the way people looked at you in general? Uh, definitely. I got a lot of positive feedback from that, and you know, with these workouts, I just made sure I just broke it up even more. Because at the combine, I didn't show much of my offense, but in these workouts, I have been with the defense. So it's been a pretty good process. Is there anything else that you're out to kind of prove or show these teams during these workouts? Uh, to prove or show, I would say just defense, showing that I, that I can't shoot the long range three, uh, and just really just be that competitor that I am. Um, in your draft workouts, have you had, uh, have, have you come across or went up against? Those first, those first round point guards like uh, Wade Ball and Demetrius Jackson. Have you showed? Have you ran across them at all in your workouts? No, I'm waiting on them though. I may not get to run a, run into them, but uh, I don't know what's going on. You know, they first round picks, so they got their own thing going. Hopefully, I see them, and when I do see them, they know it's me. As the process has gotten on, have you gotten more optimistic about where your draft range might be that you could be a first uh, round guy? I don't know. It's all up to the teams. You never know. They can say I'm first round, then take me in the second. So you never know. Uh, I'm just enjoying the process, loving everything that's going on right now. I guess you're kind of aware of the process. You know, a lot of times the agents will steer their clients away from guys that are considered not ranked as high as them because they're a little afraid that maybe someone like such as yourself might outplay them. So I guess are you aware of that, 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 that thought process, that, that thought out there? That kind of. Yeah, it could be out there, but they're. It's a bunch of strategy. It's a big game of chess going on right now, so I don't know what their agency is telling them. You had some of your biggest games against uh, you know, high D1 teams, Washington, Michigan State. Do you think those games kind of in, in the minds of scouts maybe gave you validation? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I just showed my all-around game in those games and really try to do it in every game I play, but those on the national stage and when the lights is on, I'm always ready. What are the questions that scouts or um, front office folks or coaches still have for you in workouts about your game? Have you shown some of the, the, the first questions that they had? Are there any other ones that they've had? Uh, just my catch and shoot three, definitely. Uh, that's about it. Uh, that's my weakness right now that I have. Uh, it's not my weakness, but I'm just working on it. And it's getting better. And it's showing in workouts. What has the process been for you? Been like for you dating back to high school, going through college, and now, you now you're going through these pre-draft workouts and about to be drafted? It's just putting a smile on my face and my family's face, honestly. I love it. It's a blessing. No many, I don't know many people that get to go through this, so it's definitely a blessing. Is it one of getting close to achieving one of your dreams? You know, yeah, definitely. One? Definitely one of my dreams. And I hope June 23rd I'll be watching with my family. So hopefully my name gets called. I'll probably shed a tear. Hopefully I don't. <laughs> <laughs> So with this month of trial, even excluding the combine, what, have you, what do you know now that you didn't at the end of the combine? Uh, can you repeat that? Yeah, so with all these workouts, what do you know now that you didn't at the end of the combine even? Uh, nothing in particular. Same thing. Do you approach it a bit with a, a chip on your shoulder, but like the, when you do have the opportunity to see the Ulysses, the bald ones, or whatever the case may be? Uh, definitely, it'll definitely be a bigger chip on my shoulder. Hopefully, I do get to see them assembly. Hopefully, uh, I'm waiting on them. Uh, that's really it. I'm just waiting on them.